We pause to reflect. We pause to reflect on events. We pause to reflect on people. We pause to reflect on a year of unimaginable sorrow, challenges, and tears brought about by this historic pandemic. And we grappled with how to handle this pandemic. We were blessed by a group who stepped forward and said, here I am, I'll help you. And we saw reflected back in the, the images of doctors, nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers of all types. We see our friends, family members, colleagues, and students who have served us all without care for their own lives. We see that reflection and it fills us with joy and hope. The Psalm says, sing to the Lord a new song for he has done marvelous things. In that spirit, through song, we pay tribute, we give praise, and we joyfully celebrate those who have done marvelous things. They were always there with their gifts for us, to touch us, to assure us, to comfort us, to weep with and for us. Through their sacrifice, they have helped us to rise up and move forward. They heard our calls in the night and they reached out to hold our hands and hold us in their heart. And now, now we thank them for they have given us the strength to see our future without tears or fears. It is now time for all of us to rise where there is so much life yet to live. We see a lot of life and death in our unit. Um, and unfortunately, very early on, almost all we saw was, was death. And this was by far the worst thing I've, I've ever seen uh, amongst, you know, even veteran nurses that have been there for 20, 30, 40 years. You know, if you can just imagine trying to balance truthfulness with hope, um, it's, it's not an easy thing to do when families are asking you, is my loved one going to die? Um, and, and needing to, of course, be honest with them with what's happening, but yet not take away their hope. I've worked in the ICU as a frontline worker, and I've been with the students during the COVID time. And I have seen incredible nurses work at the bedside, and I just, I'm very thankful to everyone. We volunteered our life to serve for others. And we did things, you know, bringing, you know, a phone, gowning up completely in all of our PPE and bringing a phone into the room so that someone's wife could sing to him, right? To her husband, you know, who's, you know, sedated and on a ventilator or just to say goodbye because they couldn't actually be present. So we're doing it for them and holding the patient's hand with an iPad in the room, trying to, keep the connection between the family and the patient. Being there and caring for somebody who haven't seen their loved ones and who do not know um, if they're gonna live tomorrow and holding their hands and being there for them at that moment was actually rewarding.